Hey dancers, Joe here from Celticore. Got for you today a summer strong core workout featuring exercises from the Pilates method as well as the Fuse uh, Pilates repertoire, which is the style of Pilates I got my certification in. Um, special thanks to Irish Dancing Magazine for uh, presenting this feature and let's get going. So we'll start seated actually, feet flat to the mat or whatever surface you're on. If you're in a towel, that's great. And just a note too, through all the exercises, if anything doesn't feel quite right, um, stop and take a break. Uh, you've got to listen to your body when you're doing any, any exercise, including Pilates. So we'll take our knees together, feet together, feet flat, pressed into the floor or mat, grab hold behind your legs, sit up nice and tall to start, elbows out wide to the side, relax your shoulders, and then exhale round back to the point where elbows go straight. Deep inhale here, in through your nose, and then exhaling out of your mouth deeply as you come up. And then we'll round back and come up. So connecting breaths and movement. Rounding back and lifting up. Coming up nice and tall. Rounding back one more time, lifting up. And then we'll round back to the point where elbows go straight, release your arms, and just take it down an inch. Super round back and lift up an inch. So lowering down and lifting up. So feet are anchored into the floor. Back is super rounded. Shoulders are relaxed, abs are engaged, arms are strong, reaching forward. Good, just another four, lift up. Three, lift up. Two, last time, hold it down, nice and rounded back, and then we'll just tap the floor and take our arms up above your knees. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Let's do eight and lift, seven, six, Five, keep your, keeping your chin up, so relaxing your head, head, your head and neck. Three, two, last time, one, and then we're gonna slowly begin to lower down with control. Grab hold of your legs if you need to, if you start to lose that control, and then lay everything down nice and long. We'll keep our legs in that bent shape, so knees bent, feet flat to the mat. Take our arms around behind your head, fingers interlaced, elbows nice and wide, inhaling at the bottom, and then exhale, get the movement coming from your abs as you lift your head and chest up, elbows go super wide, and then inhale, lower down. So when we're doing these head and chest lifts, we wanna avoid bringing our elbows in. We wanna keep our elbows nice and wide. And again, movement coming from your abs, not from your neck. Exhale, lift, pull your abs into the floor, lower. Exhale, lift, and lower. Two more times, exhale, lift, and lower. Last time, Exhale, lift and hold, and then we'll take our right knee into tabletop position. So tabletop is your knee right over your hip, foot in line with your knee, lower that leg down, keep your head and chest lifted, and then we'll just take our left leg in and lower. One more time each side, just so you can feel that position here. Right leg up and down, left leg up and down, and then we'll lower head and chest for just a second, inhaling at the bottom, and then exhale, lift your head and chest up, Take one knee into tabletop, the other knee, squeeze your legs together, and then we're gonna release our arms around by our side, arms are hovering, and begin pumping our arms for the hundred. Deep inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale. So while we do this, we wanna really think about keeping those abs pulled into the floor, pumping those arms strong, strong legs as well, legs completely still. Inhale, and exhale. <sighs> inhale and exhale inhale exhale hold everything still from here you can try if you want to extending one leg and then the other leg up towards the ceiling heels together toes apart pilates v lower your legs down to your point of control where your low abs don't pop up you want to keep them pulled in and then continue pumping your arms for another four inhale two four five exhale three two Last time, one, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, hold everything still, maybe float your arms up. And then circle around, hug everything in, lower your head and chest down, good. Rock your hips out side to side. So the 100 is a great exercise to fire up, ignite your core, you should be feeling warm now. We'll lay our legs out nice and long, but keep our right knee hugged into our chest. That left leg is gonna be anchored into the floor, and let's actively point that foot. So turning out from your hip, Turn on is always a good thing to practice in our Pilates exercises. So we'll take our leg up towards the ceiling, 
Give yourself a little stretch, so grab hold behind your hamstring or your calf, just not your knee. Protect your knee out. Good. Turning out again from your hip. Heel in, toe out, nice active foot, active leg, and then take that leg straight up towards the ceiling, take your arms down by your side for an anchor, pressing to the floor to open up your shoulders. And we'll just do some leg circles. We'll take that leg across your body, around and circling up towards the ceiling. Think about the size of a basketball. So not too wide here. You want to really think about stabilizing through that left hip, which is pulled into the floor. And let's just do four, three, relaxing your shoulders, two, and one, and then we'll change directions. Take it out, across, and around, and up towards the ceiling. Good, with control. So those low abs are really pulled in, helping to initiate the movement. Another three, two, and one. Good, not quite done here. We're gonna see if we can hover that left foot up off the floor a few inches, lifting your arms up towards the ceiling, and then lift your head and chest up, legs completely still, and then we'll try switching our legs, going for a click. Pointing your toes, other leg hovers now, and then switch your legs, click them out like you're doing an Irish dancing click. Front click, one leg up, other leg down, and switch. This is just an option. Three, two, last time, one, and then even out your side, so left leg, and then lower that right leg down, lower your head and chest. Deep inhale, and then exhale, grab hold behind that leg, either hamstring or calf. Maybe point and flex both feet a couple times to release out your legs and your feet. Give it a little bit deeper of a stretch. And then take your arms down. Keep that foot pointed up towards the ceiling. Let's just start to um, initiate some circles. So again, that right leg is anchored into the floor. Right hip stays down. You're not shifting your hips side to side. So you want to keep that control. If it helps to take your both hands on your hips to feel that anchor, that's a great alternatives or thinking about the size of a basketball and then we'll change directions here good so breathing <sighs> abs really pulled in tight you might be a little bit um, less stable on one side my left leg seems to be a little bit shakier than my right one more time and then bend your knee hug that in hug both these in for a second do some ankle circles so releasing out your feet in another direction and then lay your legs out nice and long. We're gonna finish up with a roll up into teaser. So I'll demonstrate a couple options we can, we can go for. So let's all start with our feet flexed. Heels together, toes apart. Again, turn out coming from your hips. Take your arms up towards the ceiling. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Really use your breath as you begin to come up, stacking your spine, reaching your arms forward, grabbing hold of your legs if you need to. Stack your spine up tall at the top, and then we'll round ourselves all the way down. Nice and slow. So you can continue with that motion, or you can try rolling up and bring your legs up with you. Start with bent knees up at the top, grab hold of your legs, and then pull yourself up into a nice flat straight back. So we want to be in a flat back in teaser for the fullest expression of it. And then we'll take one leg straight and bend. So a little hamstring stretch here too. Left leg extends and bends. And then right leg one more time. Left leg comes to meet it. Squeeze your legs together. Then maybe take your arms reaching up by your feet. Again, nice straight back, reaching out through the top of your head. Maybe take your arms up by your ears. And hold everything still for five, four, three. Breathing it out, two, and one. Take your arms back down in front. Grab hold of your legs for a second. And then come forward, take your knees out nice and wide, soles of your feet together, deep inhale, and then exhale, stretch forward over your legs. <sighs> inhale, and exhale, release. And there we go, our Summer Strong Celtic Core Workout presented by Irish Dancing Magazine. Uh, just a note also, the new Celtic Core Online Studio is launching July 1st, so keep up with us on the Celtic Core Pilates Instagram and Facebook page. Special thanks again to the Fuse Pilates me method, which has uh, been an inspiration for a lot of the exercises in the, uh, the Celtic Core studio. Thanks again so much, guys, and I'll catch you very soon.